Okay, welcome viewers, 268 subscribers. Okay, so today we are gonna start our transformations unit and we are gonna look at some transformations, um, some translations, which is one type of transformation. These are the four types of transformations that are behind me here and we're gonna quickly review them before we start. So this one we notice, picture is just moving left, right, up, down, that's called a translation. And I think the last time we learned about these was like, is it seventh, was it seventh grade or sixth grade? Do you guys remember these words? Translation, reflection, maybe from science. This one is a rotation. This one is getting bigger and smaller, but those are similar figures because they are uh, the same shape but different sizes. That is a dilation. And then this one here is flipping. That's a reflection. So those are the four types of transformations. And today we are going to look at uh, translations. So going to the next slide. So you've already tried these. If you could move the black shape up, down, left, or right, uh, which of these shapes could you match exactly? So I can move it up to C, I can move it to the right to A, I could move it to the left, B. But notice D, we would have to take the original shape and rotate it to get it to look like D. Um, and actually flip it as well. So it's just A, B, and C. Let me know if you have a question about what we're doing here. Okay, so you said you could match A, B, and C exactly. Now try it, use the movable shape to um, point to drag the original shape to match each shape and you can see it matches those three. Slide five, in order to move the original uh, to match shape A, can you move it three units to the right? So if I go ahead and type in here three, you can see the shape moves to the right location. If I want to go to the left, I type minus, how many is that? One, two, three, four minus four, that will take it to the left. Slide six, now whatever number you type in the box below is how far up or down the shape will move. So if I take my original and move it up one, two, three, I move it up to the yellow figure. If I wanna move it down to the red, that's one, two, minus two. So what we're noticing here is that anytime we are moving a figure to the right or up, that is a positive value. So like the X axis, if we go to the right, that's a positive X value. Or if we go up, which is the, the Y values, um, the Y axis, we, we go right or up, that's positive. If we go left or down, that's negative. So far, each shape has been a translation of the original. The red shape is not a translation. Drag the points to make it a translation. So we're gonna do the best we can here. And really all this requires is counting. I'm doing this quickly, but I know you've taken a little bit more time than me. How's that look? Oh, it's good. Carefully describe how to translate or move the original shape to match the blue one exactly. So it looks like we are going right one, two, three. So right three, and up, how many, two? Yeah. Thanks. Slide number nine. Now I want you to enter the coordinates. So here we are taking each of these ordered pairs and we are adding five to the X value and how much up? Three to the Y value. So how did that go? So every X coordinate we add five to, every Y coordinate we add three to. And we're gonna, we can do every single order pair separately. Every point is gonna be moved left or right, up or down, how many ever points, okay? Well, there is a rule, I know you've, done, you've gone through those two slides. Instead of going through every single coordinate and adding five or subtracting three, we can use a rule that tells, us that, um, tells the computer we can just, for every X value, we can subtract 2.5 and for every Y value, we can subtract one. So let's try it. X minus 2.5 and Y minus 1. 
and it takes all the bordered pairs and it moves every single one left 2.5 and down one. There's a translation. How are we doing? I think we're almost done. Match each shape using a translation of the original shape using the coordinate rule. Okay, so we're just gonna do one of these. Um, clearly the purple shape is a reflection, which we are gonna be doing next class, so we're not gonna match the purple shape. But let's say I wanted to match the yellow shape. I would pick a point, I like that point, one, one, and figure out if I move it to the same location on this yellow figure, how far am I moving it left and how far am I moving it up? And that's what I'm gonna to add to my X and my Y values. So for my X value, I'm gonna be subtracting two. And for my Y value, I'm gonna be subtract or adding one, two, three, four, looks like four and a half. So what did I just say? X minus two, Y plus 4.5, right? See how that goes. Boom. Any questions? Going once, going twice. So, thanks for coming out. Uh, somebody in England watched one of my videos. They go to Oxford. Just saying, I'm internationally acclaimed now. So, that's all.